Hello Divas, this is Arts Diva. Today I have a collective beauty haul to share with you, so now let's get started. Okay, so my first items are from Fleet Cosmetics. You know I love them. The only issue I have with them is their shipping, but their products, the quality are amazing, and their shipping is very cheap. I guess that's why I have issues with their shipping, because it takes forever, or sometimes you don't even get your packages. So that's my overall review of the company. So let me get into the products that I bought. The first thing I picked up online was this um, face and body highlighter. It's called Glow and this is the package that it comes in. I got 505 which is called Gold Digger. They have two shades. I forgot what the other shade is called but I love this shade. I think it would match my complexion more. And this is the compact that it comes in at the back it's like this. It's a very cute compact and it has a mirror on the inside. I can open this. You can see it has multiple colors. So what I do is I just sweep my brush evenly across it so I get an even distribution of the colors. And let me tell you, this is the best highlighter I've ever, ever came across. I am so happy with this purchase. It's not even funny. And this was only $8.99. My next purchase from Fleek is this casual eyeliner. It is in black and it's called Nocturnal. This is the packaging. I love casual eyeliners mostly because of their texture. With this, I'm a bit disappointed with it because it doesn't have that signature Kajal chalky texture which is what makes the pigment so vibrant with Kajal liners. This is more of a waxy type of liner. It does look like a casual liner, but as far as texture and the way the pigment looks when it goes on, it doesn't look like a casual liner, so I'm a bit disappointed with it. But it's cute, however, and I'll find use for it. It was $5.99. The next purchase from Sleek is this Dip It eyeliner, and this is in black. 262 black. Here's a close up of it. It has like a little bottle and you twist it up and it, it comes out like this. And here's the brush. I really love this. I think it's gonna work very well. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just loving the consistency of the fluid and also the um, brush is amazing. So I'm happy with this. This was $4.99. Next thing I picked up from Sleek is this Sleek um, blush. And it is a 935 flushed. And let me show you the color. Here's the color of it. This is a nice kind of um, deep pinkish color. And let me swatch for you. And here is a swatch. It is very pretty and the pigment is very vibrant. I really love this blush. I'm going to order more of their blushes because I'm in love. <laughs> that blush was only $5.99. Last but not least from Fleek, I picked up these three matte lip colors. The first is $7.91. It's Deer. And there is a beautiful, like, deep brownish red. Now, I'll just do a swatch for you here. And that's the color of there. This was only six dollars and I believe thirty-six cents. This is seven eighty-three, and it's called Mystic, and it is a beautiful pink color kind of like magneta looking let me just swatch for you and this one here is mystic and this is 781 and it's amped it's kind of like a really bright deep I don't know it's kind of like a I'll show you it's a pink but it's very vibrant, like almost neon pink. 
this right here is Amped. So this is Amped, this is Mystic, and this is Dare. So those are the colors. So these are my lip colors. I just love them immensely. And as I said before, these were only um, $6.36. My next purchase is from MAC Cosmetics. I purchased their Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I have it in NC50. It took me a while to get my right color and really what I was looking for first. They gave me um, NW45, but it was very red for me because I don't have a red undertone. I have more of a yellow undertone. Um, so I had to go back and they were nice enough to kind of match me again. And she really, um, my um, MAC consultant, she's really nice and she apologized because she was like, she doesn't know why she matched me to that in the first place because like she would have never done that i think she was kind of busy but i finally found my red color and here it is i did take out a little bit and i put it in an acrylic jar so i just dipped my brush in there my concealer brush in the jar but it does come with a pump the thing I love about this concealer is the quality and the consistency. It is not like a super thick and heavy, but it packs so much pigment. And this may be a con for some people, but it dries quickly. So when you're working with it, you have to make sure that you work quickly. And I think they did that because you go over it with your foundation so they want to make sure that it is dry to your skin so that it doesn't rub off or blend in with your foundation and i just really love this and from now on this is the concealer that i will be using it was only 18 dollars and some change with tax i believe it came to 19 something my next purchase is from benefit cosmetics and i purchased their makeup magnet stay flawless 15 hour primer this primer claims to keep your foundation on for 15 hours when they said that i was drawn to it because anything that will keep makeup on my face for long hours i mean that's a blessing so i went and picked it up it was $32 plus tax, 34 something. Um, it comes packaged nicely in this box. And here is the actual packaging. Take this off, then it comes with like a little top that you just take off. And then you push it up like this. And then it comes up and what you do you sweep it across your face then you blend it out and then you put your foundation on top of it it is actually colorless even though it has this tint it is colorless and it goes on very light it doesn't feel extremely heavy on my skin I don't feel it at all they claim that an average of about like 95% of people said that it helped foundation last longer they saw an improvement in their complexion and that it increased coverage and that it helped enhance the foundation's performance and from what I'm seeing so far with it, it does make a difference and I think it's worth the money. So I think I'm going to keep it. So this is my purchase from Benefit. My next purchase are some Benai products from a store called MakeupAlley.com online and I'll put the link to that store and all the stores below where you can find the products that I purchased. These are amazing. I love them. I got the Sienna powder. It was $8 and I basically got it for highlighting purposes but I realized that it works best as a finishing powder for me personally um, I may have to get a lighter color for highlighting because it blends in too much with my complexion but I'm still in love with it as everybody says this powder is a miracle in a bottle um, the texture of it is just like porcelain and it is so fine I've never seen a powder so fine before I don't know how they do it but this was my favorite purchase from the whole haul I'm 
extremely happy with it. I put it on over my foundation to set my foundation and my foundation stays flawless forever. I don't even have to use um, primer. So I'm extremely happy with this and I'm <laughs> extremely happy with this. Then I final seal matte makeup sealer. I purchased this because I never had a setting spray or a sealer and I was like this is banana so this must be good. Honey child this thing is fantastic. For $7.99 for two ounces this thing is a steal. I mean it has this weird minty smell but it goes away after you spray it on but you set your foundation with this and you're good forever. I mean it just makes your foundation come alive and the pigments look vibrant your face looks matte and it stays forever it really does seal the foundation on your skin so i'm extremely happy with this purchase hey divas my next purchase is from a store called ikateheart.com this store i mean if you're looking to buy stuff on a budget this is the store for you. They have jewelry, they have all different types of accessories for hair, skin, nails, eyes, you name it, they have it for a ridiculously cheap price and their shipping is also very reasonable, very cheap and the shipping is fast. So I picked up 10 lashes for under $20. Can you believe that Divas? 10 human hair lashes for under $20, that's less than $2 a pop. So I'm extremely happy with this purchase and I will go through the ones that I purchased. I picked up this Red Cherry 100. This was $1.99. These are these are cherry blossoms in number 80. Two oh three. One oh one. One seventeen. And I wore one of these one seventeens already. And I love them. So comfortable. I think I have them on right now actually. Um, and then this is cream eyelashes and this is in 100 cherry blossom again in 201 and another 100 of cream lashes and then a 101 in cream lashes and another one which I'm wearing right now. So all of that for under $20 with shipping and that thing came so fast. I think I have pictures of the packaging. Everything came packaged all nicely with pink wrapping paper smelling all good and they give out these like amazing cards that you could give to other people. I love this store. I tell you it's like a diva's heaven. So definitely check them out. And last but not least are these designer inspired shades that I purchased from Amazon and it came from a store called Framework and I have purchased glasses like these but in different designs from Amazon before but this one is of extremely good quality and it kind of has like an ombre black fade shade so I'm really loving that these are my favorite like glasses no, I have the tag on so but you get to see how it looks. These glasses were only five dollars and some change. So I'll put the link to that as well where you can get these. Okay, Divas, that is my beauty haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about these products and your experiences with them. Let me know what you like. Uh, check the description panel below for links to where you can find these items that I purchased. Also, remember to enter the giveaway. It's been extended because I 
didn't really get much people entering so I want you guys to enter the giveaway. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please do so. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!